put a, I have a big head, it's not, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, there are 10 contracts already of operation and uh, this is really very important for us. On the other hand, it's uh, also very important to be here because uh, we have seen, especially last year, a very important increase of Spanish tourists in Albania. And by the way, maybe you have noticed that I have some back problems. So yesterday I had to go uh, to make some physiotherapy and the guy told me uh, two days ago my girlfriend uh, booked to come to Albania with her family and myself. Now I'm taking care of your back. So uh, <laughs> this is something that would not have been possible to imagine just some years ago when, as you said, Albania was, uh, was very hidden. Now it's not so hidden and, uh, and uh, now there are more and more uh, demands to come. We had uh, last year the, um, hi the um, highest growing uh, airport in Europe the Tirana airport based on the European civil aviation statistics and uh, based on the WTO statistics we have been the third country in terms of tourism growth in the world after uh, Qatar and Saudi Arabia so third without the World Cup and without Mecca is uh, quite a good result. Oh, very very happy to hear that amazing so, uh, well, Minister, do you think that tourism could be in the future the first industry in your country, such as it is in Spain? Yes, of course, it's already. So, hello, everybody. It's such a pleasure being in Fitur now. Uh, we have always been in Fitur, but some years ago, no, no one knows about Albania. Now, Albania is becoming a destination. We are not competing neither with Greece or Italy or Croatia because we are surrounded by giant of tourism. We are completing the map of Albania. And what is uh, wonderful that Melia is not just an investor. Melia is not just a partner. Melia is now a kind of ambassador. May, may, may I say it, Gabriel? Very proud of it. Because uh, it was maybe difficult to start with the first project for Melia, but now it's becoming unstoppable and it's becoming the model for other giant of tourism from Spain, but not only from Spain, even from Europe, because other high-end uh, international brand name for four and five stars are already present, like Hyatt, like uh, Marriott, like international hotel groups. So Albania is looking forward to having all of you and uh, offering what uh, is a mystery uh, hospitality, which is our uh, brand also. Uh, each country has uh, a brand. Our brand is hospitality and uh, good spirit. Cool. Uh, so, uh, Gabriel, as an ambassador for Albania, what would you say are the main attributes, main selling points for this uh, destination? First of all, I'm very proud of being the ambassador of, of Albania. So, thank you very much for the nomination, but having said that, Melia has been always the pioneer opening new resort destinations everywhere. And since my first visit, and I still remember, it's hard to find the support that I got from the Prime Minister and the Minister of Tourism. I remember, without having a single hotel, that you received us, and I told you that I was going to be the leader in the hotel industry in the country. You, you look at me, but thanks to your support, uh, seriously, uh, I'm proud of saying it because I have uh, the best opinion of both of you. The level of support, commitment that I receive from your government is something that is unique. I wouldn't find in someone else and in any other country in the Mediterranean rim. Your country is beautiful, you have beautiful beaches, beautiful landscaping, beautiful uh, 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 heritage and, and with your support and the support that I have from most of the well-known families in Albania, I 
sure there's going to be a huge development and not only the three hotels that we operate nowadays plus the 13 that is in our pipeline but i'm sure we're going to keep growing with you not only that i want to mention that i was shocked Mirella, from the very beginning to see not only the level of support but as well the strategy to position albania as a top sustainable destination so this is something that can be a unique competitive advantage of Albania compared to some other destinations. So please keep following th that strategy because I'll be behind you. Great, Gabriel, thank you. Well, another, another focus for, for the destination's growth, uh, very relevant, is that you want to be, you aim to be a sustainable destination. You have that, you have made that crystal clear in your strategy, Minister, even you are, Minister of Tourism and Environment, if I am right. Yes, it was a choice of the Prime Minister to organize the ministries and to put tourism and the environment together. I think you are the only, the only case in this situation in Europe, so it's, it's really important for us. So, well, uh, Prime Minister, please, uh, how, do you, how are you focusing this sustainable growth for, for your country? Uh, no, first of all, I, w I have to, to uh, say something about uh, Gabriel's comment uh, because he said that when he told me that he would uh, be the leading, uh, the leading uh, uh, group in Albania, I saw him a bit like that. <laughs> and uh, it's true because uh, we are not uh, the country of Jesus. Uh, we are the country of St. Thomas, so if we don't touch, we don't believe. And uh, so now that we are touching and we are uh, believing and we are very happy to, to uh, believe based in proofs, not just in the assumption that something great will happen. And uh, so this is to just uh, again praise uh, Gabriel and praise Malia because they have been fantastic and by the way i have to say that today we were approached by other spanish groups and i'm sure that now they don't have a problem to imagine uh, investing in albania because they see that someone else has done it and uh, for countries like ours that are between the hidden and the uh, and the mission to be to be seen, the icebreakers are very important. And uh, Melia has been a huge icebreaker. When it comes to your question about sustainability, this is a huge challenge because we need to we need to be very careful about uh, the development and to balance. To balance the the uh, now with the tomorrow, to balance the need for more income from tourism with the need for uh, preserving nature, we have been blessed uh, with a country that, in a very small space, Albania is only 28,000 uh, kilometers squares is, uh, I believe, very, very diverse, maybe among the most diverse countries, because it has in this tiny space two seas, nine rivers, uh, many mountains. So in a very short distance, you can be in Spain and in Switzerland, you can be in uh, uh, North America and in South America in terms of the atmosphere. So this is uh, really very, very uh, special. And that's why we have to balance. And that's why we are very happy with what Melia is doing because we want to push more for the high end and to not be victims of a mass tourism that at the end uh, doesn't bring to the country as much as it damages uh, and uh, by the way i want to tell everyone here that is spanish to come and have the experience of melia in uh, 
the seaside because it's really a very, very nice experience. And it's not me saying this, but a lot of guests uh, uh, that are coming there from various countries are saying this. And it's not people that have not seen a hotel in their life. It's people that really travel and really look for, for new things that they always say, oh, you have a Malia in Albania, which is amazing. Oh, you have a Malia. So this is a bit uh, the spirit. Yeah, for sure. And sustainability is a must for all of us, certainly. And for Melia, it's very important many years ago. So, Gabriel, uh, what would you be your advice or your statement uh, for a country that has the opportunity to grow now with all we know about the other destinations development? What would you really recommend? Uh, I fully agree what uh, the Prime Minister just said about not growing just for the sake of growing. I mean, it needs to have a purpose, and the purpose is to grow through quality products, through quality services, and keeping in mind that sustainability should be always in top of the list among the, the priorities. So I believe your positioning and coming new to the market, it give us an opportunity to learn from the mistakes that other has done in some other destinations. So you have my commitment as a family owned company. It's very important for us because we always look for long term views. It's part of our legacy because the next generation will have as well the Escarrer last name. So we care about how the development is done. And coming back to the other point of being the ambassador, and I fully agree with what you said, I strongly recommend the investors of the tourism industry, and starting from the Spanish tourism industry, to keep working together with the government and to keep investing in Albania, because I have never seen a such beautiful place, and not only that, the support from the Prime Minister and the Minister of Tourism. So, for me, uh, uh, it's an honor to be the ambassador, and again, I believe there is a huge potential, so let's try to bring the, the top players of the industry to, to make it happen. Thank you, thank you, the three of you. And uh, I would like to, to pass the floor to our colleagues, the journalists. Tenéis alguna pregunta? Tenemos la oportunidad de preguntar. En español o en inglés, como quieran. En español o en inglés, lo traducimos. Juan Luis. Es una pregunta para el primer ministro. La imagen que se tiene de Albania en Europa hasta ahora no era muy positiva por inseguridades, todo el problema bélico que había afectado a su país. De cara a los mercados eh, emisores hacia su país, ¿qué, es, ¿qué garantías ofrece como país a nivel de seguridad, de tranquilidad, de eh, movilidad en, a nivel de su país? Porque ha comentado que tiene la montaña, ríos y todo esto, ¿no? Entonces, ¿Qué, qué, es, qué, ¿Qué imagen quiere transmitir usted a los destinos emisores hacia su país? I understand. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I don't speak Spanish, but I think I understand. Let's see if I understand. Yeah. So, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's among other things a country that is completely different from what the perception has been there from uh, long years in terms of security and uh, I give you just one uh, one example uh, we are based on EU statistics we are the country with less home robberies in Europe and uh, the champion country in robberies is Great Britain they say because of the Albanians going there, but I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, this is point number one. Point number two is that, uh, and it's most, more important, we are a country where hospitality is the main religion. And uh, as a matter of fact, in uh, so many years since we got out of uh, the uh, most isolated uh, place in Europe. We were like North Korea of Europe until 1990 because, uh, because uh, 
we were a communist country, but we didn't have relation with the other communist countries in Europe because we thought they were traitors. And when we got out of this, we entered a very bumpy road of transition and of change with also a lot of security problems. But the fact is that during all these years, we have faced uh, situations in the past that have been harmful, even physically to people, but uh, never ever a foreign guest has been harmed. Never ever a foreign guest has been, uh, has had security issues. Maybe very few, few, few examples that practically reinforce the rule that uh, is written in Albania's first common law in Middle Age that the house, if the house of the Albanian belonged to God and the guest. And as far as God has not shown himself yet, the guest is his uh, uh, nearest image and uh, you have to treat the guest as God. And this is how guests are treated in Albania. So. I am sure that Gabriel can uh, simply say yes, not because I'm always right, but in this case, I'm sure that uh, he has the same sensation that Albania is not only beautiful, but is also very secure. And security is one of the most, uh, one of the most used words from tourists when they come. And, they, and tourists that come from European, Western European capitals, uh, when, they say, when they are asked, what do you like about Albania? They say, oh, people, food and security. So uh, I, think, I think that in these in this terms, we are good. And I must say, we still have some struggle with bureaucracy, but we have a much faster bureaucracy than in the European Union. This is for sure. Because we are not yet members of the European Union. When we'll be, I'm not sure we'll be fast as we are. <laughs> so good news. If I may, if I may, Mr. Rama, and adding to what you said, I've been a lot of times to Albania, by twice with my family. So as you can imagine, I wouldn't take my family if I felt any risk about security so and i can witness no bodyguards no, <laughs> no bodyguards no 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 and we operate free hotels and so far we have no issues at all regarding safety well thank you any other question alguna pregunta más si no tenéis preguntas vamos a dejar al primer ministro y a la ministra que tienen una breve reunión. A continuación, tenemos unos obsequios para vosotros si nos hacéis el honor de recogerlos. Será un placer para que seáis un poquito embajadores también de nuestras marcas. Muchas gracias. Okay.